Hello everyone. Hope everyone is doing fine. This is Derek from Bleeding Kansas Paranormal. I'm going to do an Echovox today. Echovox System 3.0. I use Bank B. Uh, it's just my favorite bank. And um, I use the Echo. So that's what we'll be using today. Uh, it's hooked to a Bluetooth JBL Pulse speaker. And um, I just wanted to go over a few things. Um, whatever works for you guys, use it. If you like apps and you work with the same app a lot, use it. You don't have to buy um, expensive equipment. You don't have to go out and run out and buy um, any kind of ghost box or whatever. Have fun with what you got. That's, you know, that's the main thing. It, I have several ghost boxes, and the ones that I use the most commonly, or the one or two or three that I u really use, I get results on because I think because I use them the most, and I understand. So, you know, you must use playback. I, I gotta emphasize that. I only hear about maybe 3%. Um, in real time it's when I go over the playback of the video or the audio is when I really capture um, what's going on sometimes you capture EVPs you know and sometimes you gotta slow your video down to understand them uh, some things are in reverse I don't go that far but you know you can really spend some time analyzing so that's just my little tip for today. Use what fits you. If it's the SP7 box that you've bought a year ago and that's what you use, use it. If it's Echovox, use it. Um, I use what works for me. And for me, I use the Echovox. I use the AMB221, which is a Memorex uh, band radio that I've hacked. Uh, for some reason, it's just like the SP7. Um, almost exact, just a little different. Um, it doesn't have external antenna, it has an internal antenna, but it works for me, so that's what I use. I also use the Andre's box, um, the Andre Wolart. There goes one of my dogs. Sorry about that, I apologize. Um, Andre, Andre Wolart from Texas created. And and the reason I use it a lot is because I get results and I can understand what's coming through. Um, so that's just my little tip of the day. Um, today I would like to talk about somewhere I'm going to be investigating in the next month or so. It's the Beaumont Hotel. Now, some some lady and there's and I've I've been to the Beaumont myself and I've checked out the rooms and walk through. It's a very small, small town. Really, it's only like six blocks long. It has an airport, but it's not like a big airport. It's like a field that they land in. It's it's very, very tiny, but it is very peaceful there. It, the town is very old, and I'm going to be investigating it. I'm going to get the room 201. I guess the backstory on this hotel is um, it was a sportsman house before that, I guess for hunting or something of that manner, and the the story is from a lady that did stay there, and it's on the internet. Um, the cl this is her story. The clock in the room was flashing 12 when we checked in, so I set the clock alarm for the next morning, but it never went off. At breakfast the next morning, we asked our server about the ghost story associated with the Beaumont Hotel. She said that for part of his existence, the Beaumont Hotel was a sporting house, and one of the women who worked at the hotel was married, but fell for one of her customers. Her jealous husband murdered the cowboy named Zeke. So I guess they see this figure, as they go on to say, the staff sometimes see a figure of a cowboy at the top of the stairs when the hotel is empty, but the most common manifestation of the ghost is the messing with the hotel clock's radios and several of them go off at the same time or they don't go off at all. Most of the activity is in room 201, that's what they claim, and I have been in room 201. Um, yeah, most activity is associated with the ghost Zeke, the cowboy, in room 201. 
So I will be investigating there and I'm going to ask some questions on Echo Box, see if we can get it, any responses going on and yeah, so here we go. I'm going to put the Echo on and start. Hello friends, hello spirits. I would like to talk today about the Beaumont Hotel. It's haunted. I think I heard that. How many spirits would you say was in there? When staying in the hotel, where's the most likely to catch activity? Do the staff still see and feel energy? Hello, Bishop. How are you today? Jacob, Ava, Anna, how are you guys? Can you comment on the Beaumont Hotel? Is there a female in the Beaumont Hotel? Is there a female spirit? Yes. Is it residual energy or is there actual energy there that will communicate that has a message? The hotel is very, very beautiful. Old rustic. The town is peaceful and very, very old. A lot of activity there. Is there a cowboy named Zeke there that was actually murdered? Can you give me any of the spirits' names that might be in the Mont Hotel? Is there any spirits here that has a message?
Bye-bye.